Hello folks, thanks for joining me again on the Hoppy Hippy channel. We have another uh, taster for you this evening and it's... Uh, I don't have it in the book actually from Beer 52 on any of my magazines. I might have misplaced one but it's not on it. This is One Eye IPA. Does that just mean PA? Uh, so I'll just have to go, I'll just have to look past the camera here onto the Beer 52 website. It's 7% by volume and 330ml can. Price is 359 and it's brewed using a combination of Nelson Sauvign, Big Secret Hops. This juicy IP is loaded with aromas and flavours of gooseberry, pineapple and passion fruit so look forward to that. About the brewery, Tooth and Claw Brewery is a collective of Cameron's brewery employees dedicated to producing a range of innovative beer styles made up of passionate craft beer fans and brewing experts. They have created freedom to produce a selection of awesome beers. Using its small pilot brewery, it aims to brew over 40 different styles a year. Created by the various members of the team, it packaged it packages only a selection of these as limited edition runs so everyone can share their passion. So, one eye IPA. Sounds good. Funky can as well. Funky can, you've already seen that in the intro anyway. If I, if I get to that before the misses throws my cans out. I've got a new wee circul circulating platform and I keep my cans by to film it like the morrow morning or something like that. Time we get the beers, the cans, she's bloody bin them all. So let's get this opened. I'm really interested in this one so this sounds good. Sounds like my style of IPA and it's a bloody gusher. We just got that and no more. We caught it and no more. So there we go. Nice clean looking filtered. Nice and clear as you can see right through it there. Bit of carbonation in there as well. Let's get a nose at this. That was a nearly, that was a near miss. Oh. It's very punchy. It's very punchy. Oh, you know what? That is a different taste, that indeed. What have we got there? It's, it's, it's a watermelon, huh? It's not the best flavour, I'm just very malty. Whoa, it's malty. There is a zestiness about it as well. There is a kind of bitter aftertaste there lingering, <clears throat> which I'm not into at all. It's the most pungent IPA I've had in a while. It's bang right in there. And it, it, I tell you what, it's not the greatest either. There's a nice sweetness about it, but also a heavy bitterness, a sourness. Very dry in the, in the mouth. <laughs> it's dry. So what does it say up here again? <clears throat> it's loaded with aromas and flavours of gooseberry, pineapple and passion fruit. 
But I was going to say mango because that's I'm getting mango there, but you know what? It's not a very appealing nose to me. It tastes better than its nose, but it's still got that sour mango type, probably pineapple. It's definitely the pineapple. Pineapple only belongs on pizzas. It's a hard way to judge us. After a few, I'm not into the nose. Don't like the nose of it. I'm not particularly into the flavour of it either. It's full on malt. A bit overpowering. The kind of mango, pineapple is too much as well. I think it should have been a little bit subtler there with that because it's just too much. I was looking forward to this day. Normally ones at 7% and stuff are usually quite good. There is an, a distinct alcohol there as well. Obviously, still a bit of carb going on. Would I buy it again? Would I? No. Nope. And brewed at Cameron Brewers, Lion Brewery, Hartlepool, Durham. Toothandclaw.com. Not to my flavour, I'm sorry to say. The can art is definitely more appealing than what's inside it. So there we go, on that note, it's score time. And I can't go above five, plus five, out of, 5 out of 10 for this. I'm quite disappointed in it. So that's it guys, 5 out of 10. Tooth and claw, one eye. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget we've got a Facebook group as well. You're more than welcome to join. Hoppy Happy Home Brew. Keep forgetting to mention that on here. Uh, Hoppy Happy Home Brew on Facebook. You'll be most welcome to contribute and uh, show your home brews, ciders, even your own reviews as well. So most welcome to come along and join. A couple of questions to ask first, obviously, before you can get admitted by me. But if you answer them correctly, you'll get in. Okay, guys, thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next one.